In general maths, there are three types of recurrence relations that you need to be aware of. These three recurrence relations can be found on the formula sheet. And in this video, we're gonna briefly unpack what each of these mean and where we could use them in a real world context. So starting off with the first recurrence relation, which is related to compound interest. An example of where we might see this in the real world is if someone was to put money into a savings account and if they just let their money sit there and it was slowly earning interest and they didn't touch it, so they're not withdrawing any money, they're not depositing any money, they're just putting money into an account and letting it sit there earning interest. The second type is a reducing balance loan. These come up fairly often, probably the most often out of all three of these recurrence relations from my experience. And a reducing balance loan is just an example of paying off a loan. So it could be a home loan or a car loan where interest is being added onto the total amount and then repayments are being made regularly. The total amount of the loan is gradually going down and down and down until it's paid off, which means that the total amount would be zero. So with reducing balance loans, the total amount slowly decreases over time, whereas with a compound interest loan or recurrence relation, the total amount is going to slowly increase over time. The, th the third recurrence relation, which from my experience doesn't come up too often, is the annuity formula with regular deposits. So this formula is relatively similar to reducing balance loans, except instead of minusing an amount, we're adding an amount. We're making deposits instead of making repayments. So an example of this might be putting money into a savings account that's already earning interest. And then on top of that, we're depositing money regularly. That would therefore mean that the total amount is gonna be increasing quite quickly over time. It's going to be increasing a lot faster than the compound interest example, where for compound interest, the money's just sitting there, but you're not putting anything else into the account. With an annuity recurrence relation, not only is your money earning interest, you're also depositing money, which is gonna cause the total amount to increase faster. 